Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Investments. Today's video is just going to be a quick cover of five stocks that you can currently add to your watch list. And that's showing pretty good signs of a potential profit return over the next couple of days and maybe week. Uh, like all these callouts, none of these moves are guaranteed. And you should definitely do your own due diligence, but um, this video is just here to point you in the right direction. So I uh, hope this helps. Getting right into the video, I want to go over JNUG as the first stock. JNUG has been a pretty interesting one as it's been tracking gold. It's had its run up to $20 and come back down to its support at $12.13. It's reached highs of $16 and came back down to $13 again. And it seems like it's been trending up. As you guys can see here, it's forming a turbo, um, something similar to a double bottom formation with the support here at 1311. So if you catch it here, it has a nice room to run till around 14% to its previous price point, and even running back to, its, um, to $20 if possible, if gold continues to trend up. But from this formation alone, it definitely has room to run. It's showing signs of upward confirmation with the EMAs crossing over with this next resistance at the 200 day EMA. So just keep an eye out for this. Uh, gold futures right now are green, as you guys can see. Um, it was green today, and it also, based on this pattern, it also has uh, a lot of room to run. Gold futures, you know, has 2% to run, and JNUG, of course, is going to be multiplied by that. So really watch out for JNUG, as this has a lot of potential. Uh, today, it moved from its lowest point around 3%, which isn't bad, and over multiple day periods it starts to trend up as you can see from 13 and it's up around 10 percent in the past two days which is pretty good its next resistance is at 14 and then once it breaks that and it has another one at 15 and then so forth so watch out for jnug especially in the upcoming days the next thing i wanted to go over was mic this one was called out in our discord one of our newest members where the link will be in the description but as you guys can see from the chart it's had a pretty significant drop um pre uh, recently over near 50 percent uh this is due to you guys can do more research on it but it's basically due to its, div its dividend lowering also due to a decrease in cash flow and amongst other things so there was some definitely some negative pr there which caused this drop but as you guys can see, in the past couple of days, it's been trending back up. And if it continues trending back up, it has a lot of room to cover around, you know, that 50% mark. Looking at it in the, from the past couple of days on this 10-day analysis, it's up around 16% from its support. And in intraday on Friday, it was around six, ran 6%. And today, it ran another 5%. So before this, as... As this continues to ride uh, up, as this continues to ride up and ride its EMAs, I would definitely watch out for this and maybe um, trade this intraday or maybe even swing trade if you're confident in the stock. But it has a lot of room to move, so definitely keep an eye out for MIC. The next stock I wanted to go over was WYNN Win Resorts. This one has a very interesting pattern. It's been trending up for the past couple of months. And as of recently, it dropped pretty significantly after a pretty huge, significant spike. This signals that it will come back to its previous price levels and continue to trend back up again. And it has a lot of room to cover, around 20% to its previous price point at that high of 203. So um, I have alerts set for when it breaks uh, 170. And watch out for that. It'll have a resistance here at 181 for a 6% gain. And then this next resistance should be at 203 for the 20% gain. Um, additionally, if it doesn't follow that price pattern, it should reach a point uh, that follows this trend and it'll continue to write EMAs upward for the next couple months. So this can be a very slow swing trade if you're looking for something calm and, and quiet and maybe not as volatile. So definitely keep an eye out for WYNN. The next stock I want to go over was GUSH. I mentioned this one previously in a different video. 
I still don't have entry, but I'm looking for entry around $25. It has a lot of room to cover. It's based off of oil futures. And because it's based on oil futures, I'm confident that it'll eventually go up. But right now, it's still kind of consolidating, showing slight signs of an upward trend. So I would definitely keep this on watch and add alerts. I'm not, um, for me personally, I'm going to enter around 25 But if you don't like my entry point, it's near support. And from here, you can enter and set a stop loss under the support. But just watch out because this thing is it's not guaranteed. So I wouldn't, don't expect immediate results. As you guys can see, it moves up and down. But over the past couple of days, it's been moving, or even around 10% in the past, near 10% in the past two days. And in, in the past couple of days, it's already up around 30%. So this is definitely something to keep on watch as a nice swing trade. The next thing I wanted to go over was UAN. This is another one I covered previously. As mentioned previously, it, it's been, for a few months, it was trading in this channel, going up and down, up and down. And it broke that pattern and now it's very close to back to entering this previous uh, channel pattern as you guys can see so it's actually just entered this channel pattern back today and from here it has around 60% growth to its resistance but it should actually go a little bit higher but a nice sell point if you got it right here would be here at 420 or 16% and if you want to hold it even longer to this point right here it would be nice at 450 with 25 percent and then it would trend down if it continues to follow this patterns that it's been following but because it broke this pattern it moving up isn't guaranteed so make sure you just keep it on watch set alerts and keep up with the news and themes that are surrounding this for this video i'm going to give one more stock as a bonus i i went over the five main stocks i wanted to cover but as a bonus i wanted to go over uh, luv southwest airlines as this one was mentioned in a previous video, since the call out is up around 5% uh, around that area and it's still trending up, it broke the point at which I said it would be a good entry point. We're not in it right now, but it, it, this was a good entry and it's been trending up. As you guys can see, it has its next resistance at this EMA line, and if you, it continues to break that here, or it goes over 1630, it'll be a very good entry to enter in. We know for a nice profit of around 10% plus. So also keep an eye out for LUV as it has a lot of potential. Today alone, it moved up around only 1%. On no regular days, it, that may be the average, but like you guys can see in the 180 day chart, it has a lot of room to cover. So if you're looking for a less volatile stock to play, this and this similar to WYNN, are both pretty good stocks to hold over a longer period of time for, for a safer trade. And that's really it for the video. Um, any other call-outs or anything like that, we're going to keep it in, we're going to put in our Discord. That link for that will be in the description. Um, but again, that's really it. And uh, good luck trading. Hope you stay green.